Mark Dean Vecca. I grew up in California. I went to art school at Otis College of Art and Design. After living in LA for 10 years and going to school here, I loved LA then, but I also realized that I really wanted to be in New York and just sort of be in the center of the art world, especially at that time. And this was the early 90s, uh, before really before the internet. You sort of had to be in New York for certain things. And I think it's not as much the case anymore, which is, I think, one of the reasons that I decided to move back. There's a whole psychedelic element to my work. I think that's just sort of a product of maybe growing up in the Bay Area in the 70s. And I think that, you know, the whole underground comics movement and that came out of that, and that's something that was a big influence on me when I was a kid, as well as Mad Magazine and other things. That's just sort of, like, I always would just sort of describe it as, okay, this is what it looks like on the inside of my head. And these are just the forms and shapes that, that come naturally to me, and that instead of, like, some, some people might do, like, uh, you know, hard-edged, geometric kind of thing, that's something that I would never be interested in doing. I remember seeing kids in school that would draw these great, uh, you know, airplanes and, and, and jets and rockets and stuff. I'm like, I wouldn't be doing stuff. I'd be doing cartoons. I'm always attracted to that kind of, of work that it has a sense of humor about itself. I use ink and acrylic on canvas. I'll get an image, well, out of a book or off the internet, and then sort of project that up onto the canvas and block in the basic forms and the basic shapes. And then I use that as a structure. Uh, within which to improvise. So within that I can do whatever I want to and it's just all sort of stream of consciousness. The collaboration with the Hundreds started out in like a really uh, interesting way. Keith Marzo from the Hundreds had seen my show at UC UCSD. Then when he came to the Hundreds, he contacted me and said, hey, you know, would you be up for doing uh, some kind of collaboration with us? And I was like, absolutely, let's do it. You know? So I, I kind of went in there with some of my samples of work and I met Bobby and totally cool. Just like really supportive of me doing my work. The first idea that we had, which was sort of, you know, the no brainer was to do, was to do Atom Bomb. Here is uh, the second one. This is my own sort of font that has become sort of a trademark. The third design here is, it's related to one of the paintings in my show at Western Project. This is the head of the eagle from the presidential seal. That's one of the things I like about doing work like this and collaborations. It's more universal, you know, people can come in and buy a t-shirt as opposed to, you know, even a print or a painting or stuff that's not as accessible. So this is kind of a nice chance to, to sort of find out how people are feeling. Chuck,